Hey everybody, so in today's video, I have a short curly pixie wig install and I'm super excited about it because it turned out so cute. I got this wig from I'm Moonsa. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description box below. Inside the box, it comes with the wig, eyelashes, elastic band, and a wig cap. The wig is a 13 by four lace frontal wig and it comes with combs on the top, the bottom, and each side, as well as an adjustable band at the bottom. And the lace came pre-plucked and it looks pretty decent, but I'm gonna customize it a little bit more. So I start off by bleaching the knots and I use this BW2 bleach and 30 volume developer. And I honestly don't measure the bleach. I just eyeball it. You pretty much just wanna get it to a thick enough consistency to where it forms stiff peaks. To apply the bleach, I like to put my wig on my wig head backwards just to get all the extra out the way. And then I apply a small layer of bleach on the lace and I just spread it by using light tapping motions. I try not to press too hard down into the lace because you don't want it to, you know, bleed through and bleach the actual hair. So I just spread it around lightly tapping the bleach on the knots. I like to leave the bleach on for about 30 minutes or until the lace turns like this golden brown color. And then I wash off all the bleach with neutralizing shampoo and purple shampoo. And y'all, like, look at this wig. Like, it turned out so nice. So now I'm gonna start plucking. And to pluck the hairline, I honestly just pluck in one area. I skip a section of hair and then I pluck in the next. And then I like to pull down from the hairline and plug behind the hairline to really get that natural gradient effect and, you know, just make it look real natural and real seamless. And just tweak it, you know, to your preference as needed, but you pretty much just want to thin it out and have it have a natural gradient effect. And when it's all plugged, it looks like this. So I'm just going to continue to repeat this process for the rest of the hairline. I start off with the ball cap method. I like to apply a thin layer of Got To Be Glue spray. I also go in with the black gel, and then I add one more layer of spray because we really want this cap to be melted into our skin. And once Everything is dry, I cut out the ears, and then I just cut off all of the excess wig cap. To melt the cap down even more, I'm just going around the edges and I'm spraying it down with some more spray to really, you know, melt it and get it to look seamless. Also go in with a little bit of foundation powder to match the wig cap to my skin tone a little bit better. And then I seal all that in with some more spray. I like to measure the wig on my head just to see if I need to cut any more of the wig cap. If I need to cut the actual wig, which you will see me do, I end up cutting around the ears. Um, and then I also like to cut slits into the actual wig just to prep for gluing because I glue my hair down in sections.
So once everything is measured, I like to clean up the hairline with a little bit of alcohol before I start applying the glue. And then I apply the glue in my each section. So I, I apply two layers of Ghost Bond glue and I allow the first layer to dry completely clear before I apply the second layer on top. Once both layers are pretty much clear, I measure the wig over the glue, but I don't fully press it in because I like to see, you know, if it's aligned with the other sections that I'm going to be gluing down. I want to make sure it's not too far up, it's not too far down. When it does, I go in with a bristle brush and I just really press that in and get it melted into the glue. I like to tie everything down with a silk scarf while it's drying and once it's completely dry I start cutting off all of the excess lace so I like to cut in zigzag motions so it's not you know super harsh and it looks natural and I also cut close to the hairline to get that effect as well. Before I pull out the baby hairs, I like to clean up around the hairline with the alcohol again. And then I start customizing the baby hairs by pulling out hair where I naturally feel like baby hairs would be, which is the temple area on the sides and the sideburns. And after I pull out that hair, I like to pluck around that area to make it look natural and seamless. For the actual baby hairs, I just continue to pluck and cut as needed. And I swoop them around with no product just so I can have an ability to continue to customize it as I need it. Once I get my baby hair, it's pretty much to how I like them. I go in with my Lotta Body Mousse and I start to apply it to the baby hairs and really swoop them back and see what they really look like. And I just continue to customize them. To style the rest of the hair, I like to apply a little bit more mousse and I just play around with it to see, you know, if I want to cut it or anything. But I really liked how this naturally just looked like the hair was super nice. It was so soft and I just really love the way that this turned out. I got so many compliments on it and this is what I look like the next day. But yeah, this is the completed look. I really hope you all learned something. And if you like the way that my hair turned out, definitely be sure to like this video. And also make sure y'all subscribe to my channel because when I tell y'all I have more content coming, y'all not going to miss out on anything that I post. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!